First at 530 today marks the start of National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Jane Monreal in for Vanessa Rufus. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, nearly 5% of all U.S. adults have serious thoughts of suicide every year. Yes, yeah, 79% of all people who die by suicide, they are men and transgender adults are nearly nine times more likely to attempt suicide at some point in their lives. WCNC Charlotte's Kia Murray spoke with a mental health professional sharing ways that people can help their loved ones who may be struggling too. It could be from child to adolescent to adult all the way up to senior and in home is mainly just child and adolescent. Jasmine Smith is a local mental health professional. As a clinical mental health counselor, she provides several services, but this suicide prevention month, she's starting with this. The first thing is just assessing for risk. That can be through simple questions anyone can ask their loved ones and children, like how are you doing, and looking out for triggers. Main triggers could be loneliness, bereavement, um, social disparities, hopelessness, worthlessness. We pulled data from North Carolina's Department of Health and Human Services. There are several stats, but taking a closer look at this one, it says in the first three months of the year, rates of self-inflicted injury hospital visits were highest among girls between 10 and 18. Now, meanwhile, back in 2020, the rate of suicide among boys in the same age group was nearly two and a half times higher than that of girls. From your perspective, I mean, do you have any idea why that would be happening? Yes, so it was never my in, in my profession to exactly know all of the statistics. However, what I do know as a professional, in my opinion, is that boys are usually more intentional and they're more violent in their acts, too. It's why I asked Smith what's the one message she wants to make sure she gets out as September marks the start of Suicide Prevention Month. She says there's a few. First, to check on your loved ones. Then she adds, for anyone who's having thoughts of suicide or even suicide ideation, it is okay to speak up. And for everyone that's listening, no matter what your needs are, it's always time to ask for help. I'm Kia Murray, WCNC Charlotte. Well, on Tuesday, September 26th, Vanessa Rufus will host a virtual town hall seeking solutions to the growing mental health crisis in our community. You can watch it live at 1230 on WCNC.com, the WCNC YouTube channel, and WCNC Plus. Right now, you can scan the QR code on the screen for mental health resources or just text PREVENT to the number 704 329 3600. And remember, if you or a loved one needs help immediately, you can always call or text the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. That is 988.